Welcome back to the Chasm Channel. Hey Sean, what do you have for us today? Well James, in today's tutorial we are going to build a color palette inside of WinCCOA. Why would we need a color palette? Well, color palettes allow you to present information in a little bit different way so we can add color schemes uh, inside of the palette and for example today we're going to build a, a light mode and a dark mode so you could switch to like a night theme or a dark theme so if there's operators or people using the software they can switch between it depending on the time of day or just in general if they want a different user experience. Okay, sounds useful. Let's do it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create a couple color scheme folders that will house our color database. These folders are going to represent the two color palettes that we will switch our theme between. So right click, create a folder, name it day, and create a second folder and call it night. Next, we are going to right click and add a color database. I'm going to name mine Beast Mode, naturally, because we are in the Northwest and big Seahawks fans. So go ahead and add the same color database to the night folder. Just a quick development note, you can have unique names for your folders, but the color database and the palette colors have to absolutely match or the switch will not work. Our next step is to create a palette with colors. So right click and add a new color, name it background, and pick a color. Don't worry about the existing names of the colors. We are essentially changing the name of the color with the name we just created. So background is now represented by the dark gray color. So right click, add new color. We are going to call this one foreground and we are going to make this one white. This is going to represent the panel color of our day mode. Next, add a button color. This is going to represent the button color switch. Feel free to call yours whatever you'd like. I like the Siemens color blue, so I'm going to choose that. Let me squeeze this over a little bit so you can see my naming conventions a little bit better. Right click, add another color. We are going to use this one for a button shadow. We're going to make that this one red. And then we are going to repeat the whole process here with the night color palette. I'm going to speed this section up slightly to get to the end result faster. Just remember, make sure your color names match and make sure you have different colors to represent each individual palette. Now, once you've finished creating your colors in your color palettes, the next thing we wanna do is associate what we've just created with some graphics. So create a new panel and add a button and let's change a few object properties. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down to border style and change it to none. What that does is turns off the default button styling so we can freely configure it. Next, we wanna change the shadow enabled to true and change your XY offset from eight to two so we don't have some crazy separation between the buttons and the shadow. Next, let's change the shadow color to one from the palette we just created. Type in the name you just gave your button shadow color and select it. Next, let's change the color of the button. Type in the button color and select it. Finally, I've added sun and moon icons to the picture folder in the project directory so I could use them instead of text. I'm going to use a sun icon to represent the day color scheme and the moon icon to represent the night color scheme. And next, I'm going to copy and paste the button I've just created because it already has all of the configurations I need. And the only change I need to make is changing the icon from the sun to the moon. Next, we are going to add a text field that will output which color scheme we are using. So if we do this right, we are going to be able to change the colors of the buttons, panel, and text field when we click the button.
And finally, we are going to create a script. So go ahead and open up the click script editor, type string scheme equals day and hit return. Then we are going to activate our day scheme with color set active scheme day. And last, we are going to send some text to the text field that we've added. And the name of that object is text underscore field one dot text. And the text we want to send there is day. Let's do a quick syntax check then copy our script so we can paste it into our night button click. But before we copy and paste, I want to show you the script editors IntelliSense. So if you type in color, then hit your tab button, the system will bring up a list of functions for you to choose from. So I'm just going to copy and paste our script and make the changes from day to night and our text field output change it to beast mode. Now let's test it. Our color switch is happening between the two folders and that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Back over to you, James. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you found that video useful. Remember to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified of future updates.